and Donaldson Christian Academy took a direct hit from the March 2020 tornado. The storm caved in classrooms and it flattened the elementary wing of the building bin. News Channel 5's Eric Hill actually checked in on the progress the school's seen one year after the storm. When the sun rose on March 3rd, 2020, when you first drove in, you're just kind of in shock and it's devastating to see all the damage. And Donaldson Christian Academy headmaster Keith Singer was met with the destruction left behind by an EF3 tornado. Your first thought is, wow, this is unbelievably challenging and devastating. School work was scattered in the rubble. A trailer sat on what was left of the building's roof and the campus was unusually quiet. It was just a different feeling when you're driving on campus. A year later, that silence, there's no longer very much quiet, has been broken. We call it the sound of progress. There's always a lot of beeping, a lot of work going on, you know, a lot of drilling and all kinds of different things that are happening. But Singer says the construction crews aren't just rebuilding the school. And so as we're kind of walking down here, we're walking through a hallway that'll be for our third, fourth and fifth graders. They're expanding it. This is a space that did not exist prior to the tornado. DCA is adding a second floor to the wing that was leveled by the storm. At the end of the day, the tornado, as devastating as that was and as challenging and tough as it was, uh, really gave us some opportunities to do some incredible things here on this campus. Things that Singer says wouldn't have been possible without the community support. The outpouring was there immediately after the tornado and it's continued ever since. Now he's looking forward to the sounds of a normal school day to return to the campus. We're just uh, incredibly blessed with where we are this year compared to where, where we were a year ago. Incredibly blessed indeed. Eric Hill joins us from the newsroom this morning and Eric, thanks for that update. We're glad you're up with us early this morning and we know you were in Donaldson you know, for the morning and into the evening even after that tornado hit and it must be such a dramatic difference from then until now. Yeah, Amy, it has been a remarkable recovery to put in perspective how big of a hit that area took. It took us about an hour to work our way through that neighborhood to get to Donaldson Christian Academy that morning. So the improvements, the recovery in that area has just been so impressive over the last year, of course, centered around DCA and all the progress that they've seen over the last year as well. Yeah, and you mentioned the community support for DCA, and I understand the school got what's considered a pretty big donation. Yeah, and that support came in all sorts of forms as well. Immediately after the storm, there was the physical support of people helping clean up. Uh, in the weeks after, there were donations to classrooms that had lost everything, and there was also financial support, and that came also with an anonymous $1 million donation to help the school rebuild. All right, Eric, thank you. So glad to see so much progress a year later. Appreciate that.